What's up, Pokemon? Spit Wild Chase here again, bringing you another battle because I don't know how to say no when people say, "Hey, Wild Chase, we fucking hate you. Please stop uploading here." But uh, anyways, we got a game here against Burning Woods, 87-23. It's a really fucking awesome match, really hexy, but still really fun and good. So we'll just get right into it. So it leads off with Swampert. I kind of like in a prediction way from seeing the teams, I knew he would, so I let off my Notori, which I usually don't, because I lead off with the Sash Kajundo, but I let off Notori, it works out well, switches to a Blaziken, I get the Leech Seed off, because I predicted him to switch out, and, you know, Blaziken's a nice thing to Leech Seed, get a little bit of damage off, but he does switch out right away, go to Zapdos, as I switch out to my defensive Garchomp, because I knew I could take any Blaz any of Blaziken's hits pretty well, because he probably could only 3 KO me since I am defensive, but he brought out a Zapdos, which I guess maybe he predicted my switch or something, I don't know. So, uh, he's gonna go for the HP Ice, which I was like, oh shit, it's HP Ice. But then I lived, and then I saw the crit, and I'm like, okay, so it didn't even kill me with normal damage, it couldn't even fucking kill me with a crit? What's going on here? So, here I kind of spaced out, and, uh, went out to my Rotom, thinking it was choice, when it's like, if it was choice, then it should have killed me. Also, take note, there was no pressure. So he's using an Illegal Dream Roll Zapdos, which will kind of play key later. Like, I won't activate the Lightning Rod, but he won't have Heat Wave because of it, or Roost. So I tricked here, thinking he'd want to switch, thinking he's choice, but then I was like, wait a second, he didn't kill my Garchomp with a crit. What makes me think it's choice? So he does Thunderbolt me, but now I know he's either forced to switch or go for another Thunderbolt, since I did trick at the Scarf. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to go out to my... Randorosu, because, you know, it's fine, I have the Randorosu, and he brings out his Hydreigon, just can you turn on it, because, uh, even if he decides to switch, you know, he turns a good move, because he doesn't have any entry hazards up, and I get a scout, but he does stay in, I do get a crit on him, which probably mattered, so, you know, whatever, makes up for making my Garchomp useless, but, whatevs, so, I'm just gonna go out to Gijondo, because, uh, you know, it has a sash, and I can U-turn scout and fake out scout and all that shit. Brings out the blaze again. I crit the fake out. Doesn't really matter since as long as I jump kick hits, then I'll take him out. But he goes for the fire punch, which, you know, it'll actually bring me down to my sash because I believe he's in blaze range, so that crit actually helped him a little bit. Then again, it probably would have brought me down just because Kajundo has shitty-ass defenses. But I do hit my head jump kick, so that will take him out, so crit didn't matter in the fact that, uh... I would have taken him out anyways. So anyways, he goes up to Zapdos. I want to keep Kajundo because, you know, fake out shit is nice to have. So I just bring my Notari. He goes for the Drill Peck, and I'm like, what? What is this nonsense that is Drill Peck? I mean, I was just like, what? But whatever. So I'm just going to go for Leech Seed here because I know he's forced to switch out because uh, I doubt he really wants to Drill Peck me all day because he'll ba basically lose that fight anyways. But he brings out a... Rapushin, because I refuse to call it the other name, because I like the Japanese, most of the Japanese names more anyway. Some of them, some of the English names are tolerable, tolerable, fuck, I can't talk. Tolerable, but that one isn't one that's tolerable. So, I do get the Leech Seed off, figure, okay, Rank who can take any hit, kill it off, and get some Leech Seed in the process, possibly. Except not really, because then I'd kill it, then I wouldn't get any Leech Seed. But, no matter what, I can still take it out with the Psychic. So, I just switch in my Rinkurusu. Uh He actually has a Stone Edge, but it'll do the same as Payback, because Super Effective would mean 100, and Stone Edge is 100. But he actually gets a crit, so that means my Rinkurusu goes down, and he actually has a Life Orb, and I'm like, okay, that will work a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my Kajundo, get the Fake Out off, get a little bit of damage off, because then I get a little bit off, plus I get the uh, Leech Seed. So, because I don't have anything that wants to take a hit from it, because, you know, it's like... I lost my main counter dash check to this thing, so it's like I gotta kinda stall it out a little bit. So I just bring out my Garchomp, because it is basically useless at this point. So I was like, alright, fodder that out, bring back out Kajundo, get the fake out off, and then, uh, yeah, hope that it brings it down to Leech Seed range. Doesn't quite bring it down on a range, so I'm gonna have to either leave this thing in as fodder or bring something else in that can possibly take a mock punch, but I decided just to leave Kajundo in. Not thinking it would help me that much in the long run, but I actually live with 10, so he'll kill himself off with Life Orb, and uh, I have a living Kajundo. But he's just going to bring in a Zapdos. I don't really want to bring anything else in, because I want to see what he locks himself into so I can bring in the appropriate check dash counter. So he's just going to take me out with a Thunderbolt, so he locks himself into that, so I can bring my Randorosu, U-turn out, because uh, he's obviously going to switch, 
just don't know to what. But he switches out to his Rankarusu, and uh, that's a nice thing to peg with a U-turn, because Rankarusu's kind of a bitch to fight. Except when you crit it. Then it's not so much of a bitch. Just saying. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, as you turn out, go to my Rotom, because I want to get as much damage as possible, because I know I can probably take it out with either a U-turn or an Earthquake, as long as I get it low enough. And I get it down into low red, and he just goes for the Psycho Shock to finish me off. Doesn't want to waste time stalling. Also, lol, Psycho Shock. <laughs> I really don't like Psycho Shock. It's like, I don't know. Whatever. So, he's in low red, so I'm just going to go to Randorosu, just U-turn out, and uh, that'll easily take him out. I'm just going to go out to my Notore, because uh, it's the only other thing I have. So, he's just going to bring in a Swampert, because at this point I was like, wait, why didn't he go out to Zapdos for the Heat Wave? He could have easily probably won it there. But, like I said, he has Lightning Rod on it, and not Pressure, so he can't have Heat Wave. So, he just goes with the Scald with the Swampert, doesn't burn me, which means I easily take him out with a Power Whip. Then all he has left is Zapdos, and since he doesn't have the, uh, what's it called? The Heat Wave, because he has the illegal Dream World Lightning Rod, um, he's forced to go for the... Hidden Power Ice, just in case I randomly went out to Randorosu for no reason whatsoever. And that's like the best thing to hit this thing anyways, but won't be able to do anything at all, so I'll just take him out with the Gyro Ball, and that will be the match. So it was a great game, Burning Woods. Like, really hexy, but it was fun, like I said. So, guys, hope you enjoyed, even though I most know most of you didn't. Um, if you liked it, leave a like, check out both mine and Burning Woods channels, sub to the Mosh Pit, all that good stuff. So, uh... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, rate, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys next time.